not looking annoyed or anything like that um, for waiting for Debru. Ooh, a little coaching. Might have to start banning people. Oh, man. we <laughs> No coaching allowed during the games, people. <laughs> you know this too I guess well. Technically, the game has not started, to be fair. Oh, true. So th this might be, you know, it might be a little bit okay. See what stage they're going. Town and city. Interesting. I feel like we do not see this as a starter that often, or as like you know where people start. Obviously, it is a starter map, but um, usually like Pokemon Stadium is a huge one. Battlefield, I've actually seen a decent amount for people to start on. Um, oh, let's go. Is Howdy Doody a Piranha Plant? And we're going back, selecting stage again. Now back. I think down they have to go all the way back if they want to do. I think they're doing it for the uh, controllers. All right. I have to go all the way back for that. You can also just take out your controllers like that, though. Disconnect. Let's see if they realize it. Go all the way back. There we go. Yep. So now, Fever should be the one initiating everything and should be player one. Is it still wrong? Whoa. Looks like D-Brew going wolf. No, it's uh, that's Howdy. Oh, Howdy doing wolf. We'll do that. i do that. Yeah, I gotta get, get that fixed. There we go. All right, we got a wolf and an Ike. Watch out, most, most of wolf's moves are pretty safe. Yeah, both these guys are gonna be pretty hard hitters. Um, I think Wolf will have a slightly easier time edge guarding. Um, on look stage. at the combo Ooh, yeah. to start off with for Howdy. If Howdy can get in, he's able to do a lot of damage. But Debru should be able to kind of space him out. Uh, if he can get Howdy Duty above him, he should be able to do uh, a decent amount with up airs and stuff because they just cover so much of Ike's body. Yeah, that sword does hit hard. Let's see how much he can get off. Gets a nice couple fares. I do think at a lower percent, up air is probably the better answer. Again, I'm not like, you know, super into ultimate frame bait or anything like that. Just typically, uh, if you're not going to be able to get an edge guard off it, fair doesn't seem like the best option because he'll be able to get out of it sooner than up air, I would assume. Right now, howdy. Close to closing out this first stock and not oh. going to get anything else out of that. It's missing the shot and now. Yeah, that was a really back. risky side B from Debru. Uh, how do you. Duty could have gotten like a down smash or something out of shield um, and really punish that. It doesn't matter. We got first stock gone from Debru and Howdy. And Debru has the rage and he's trying to keep his spacing because he knows the wolf can be can can be aggressive and benefits from an aggressive play. Yeah, and he definitely doesn't want to give up too much percent without getting this kill. Definitely trying to keep it safe. We'll see. Yeah, Wolf definitely has a lot, um, a lot better recovery options than uh, Mike does. In and general. I'm not sure if that was bad DI or yeah, what. A four tilt on that far to the right, killing off the left side, seems like it may have been a little bit uh, not great DI. Again, like, not super sure about percents and uh, kill percents for Ike versus Wolf. Go <laughs> for those side bees on stage. Mm, interesting. <laughs> The sword combos that I can pull off. I take for example, you've seen this out of MK Leo in the earlier days as ultimate. Yeah, definitely getting some uh, usage out of that up air. Man, Ike has become a really good character. Like he got buffed in four, but was still mid low tier at best. Ike now really good in this game. And we don't see many people sporting the. I think that's the Radiant Dawn outfit. Oh, yeah, I, I have no idea. <laughs> and you can Ooh, see... Oh, nice dash attack. The, you see that big sword there? It does really good damage. Yeah, and the down tilt's doing a really nice job of popping uh, Howdy Doody up. Oh. And using that platform to save himself. I don't know if he... If without that, I don't know if he would have recovered. Yeah, he may not upbeat, though, in that spot, to be fair, if that uh, platform wasn't there. But also, getting that extra percent on uh, Howdy Doody... Definitely uh, really worth it. 
now that Deaver has that stock lead. And he and he was smart using that platform again this land and then regain his double jump. Very smart out of Debrew to make sure he can recover, but that doesn't matter much. He's minus a stock thanks to the up tilt that how he made. Yeah, he does have that percent lead now though, so he made a lot of use out of that second stock. How do you do trying to play around that sword, but the sword is just so big. It covers a lot of area. You think you're safe, but no, you are still gonna get hit if, you're, if he's still close enough to you. Well, indeed, we're doing a, a really good job of using that down tilt. Um, I feel like the first stock he was trying to almost only open up with grabs, um, maybe like jabs or something. There. Oh, fair enough. Up tilt or up air. I We've mean. seen. We, we are familiar with that combo. So now, Debrew up one nothing. I was wrong. That's the outfit we see in Brawl. Oh, okay. For Ike, you mean? Yeah. So now 1-0 advantage, and he started having trouble, but he was able to keep his spacing after that. And looks like Howdy might need to adjust, maybe play more aggressively, or... Yeah, I think maybe even the opposite. I think... Uh... He could play a little bit more, uh, possibly shield heavy, because Zebra did try to grab a lot in the first stock, but it seemed like the later stocks he was mostly opening them up with just normal attacks like down tilt. Um, so how do you do? You might be able to kind of bait out some of those attacks with shield, um, and then also staying right outside of that sword range rather than staying right outside of the grab range. Because if you're trying to play around the grab, you might just start getting down tilted. You're not going to be shielding. You know, it kind of throws off uh, your game plan if the opponent's obviously not grabbing. Um, so yeah, I, I think maybe playing a little bit more in shield. You could almost be uh, like aggressive with shield though. Like running shield is a really good option because it makes your opponent feel like they have to do something. And if they do something on your shield that's not grab, typically you win unless they're you know doing really good spacing and stuff. Uh, but if you're if you're making them act fast, usually they're not you know perfectly spacing aerials or drifting correctly. So you could maybe do some more aggressive shielding to try to get Deaver to swing. As you can see right there, he. He really likes that down tilt, which it's a really good move to open up uh, opponents and get them above you. We'll see how he does. Right now, doing a really good job. Hey, he's doing well, doing damage, and there's the shield, and there's the punishment. So, Debru starting off behind, just like in the last match. But we all know how that first match ended. But he is quickly catching up, and yeah. like I said, Ike can just dish out damage pretty quickly. So fast. That dash attack into up air did like 20 or 30 percent. And that's just a two string, and like dash attack, I mean, kind of committal, but like, I don't know, it doesn't seem like that huge of a move, but still has a decent amount of percent and uh, sets up for a little combo. Oh, nice. I think he actually uh, fell through that platform, which. You know, it might not be super important right now, but it's a really nice mix-up to have. Oh, oh my goodness, I did not realize how much of a vertical range, not vertical, but horizontal range that yeah. eruption had. That hitbox is insane. I, I would love to see that in like a debug menu, uh, just to see how big that hitbox actually is. Didn't feel as big in Smash 4. I can't remember it being having good horizontal range or... Yeah, I mean, hitting, and uh, even uh, such low range, like hitting below the platform, or the uh, ledge, it's that pretty thing, crazy. That thing could be a really good edge guarding tool, if timed correctly, like, mm -hmm. how deadly that is. Especially if you, uh, if you kind of reset them on ledge and they haven't grabbed, if they haven't gotten on stage again, so they don't have that uh, ledge invincibility, you could really bait out some uh, pretty painful punishes with, like that. Hey, oh, and he's gonna meet up an with another down smash. Yeah, but he's not back, quite at the percent to get die from it though. Recovers from that, gets the forward air to up air combo, and he is taking away Howdy's second stock. But here comes Howdy striking right back, dishing out some of his own damage. A nice rollback. Keep, he's, might get grabbed. He, he's doing a lot better, keeping keeping the distance from that big sword of his. Yeah, honestly, the first stock, uh, oh, that was a nice up smash. The that, first stock, he did a lot of, like, uh, blaster play and stuff, and playing around with this distance. This distance is really good, because Dibru can't do anything other than, like, maybe side B or uh, dash attack to close that big uh, space. 
So I really like the uh, the spacing that Howdy Doody is playing around right now. Now trying to figure out what to do to close out the second stock. He needs to do that quickly before d gets to him. And you know with the rage and how much damage he's going to dish out. Yeah, if you thought his sword did a lot before. Back throw not going to quite do it. But that nice. won't do it wow, instead. Yeah. And not going to do it either. No. Oh, oh what went for it. He went <laughs> Howdy Doody's face is like in awe that he even went for it. He didn't even get, you know, he didn't even die from it, but he's still amazed that like that crossed Ebru's mind. But see, he had an extra stock to spare. He was at 204, but yeah, still would have been risk. That uh, was worth the risk. Still not, I don't know if that would have been worth the risk. I would have still tried to dish out some more damage before losing that second stock. Yeah, but if he made it. That would have been a all billion the times worth it, plus the twist clip, plus, you know, the fame and glory, you know? And, you know, at 200%, you can't expect too much more. Oh, a little bit freeze there. Looks yeah. like it was one more up air or just a dash that attack. That dash, yeah, that sword. You're gone. And D Brew, he is going to be moving on to face. Trying to find the. I think he's going on just around two. Yeah, he's gonna be facing respect. I think I'm assuming that's a zero suit Samus man. Yeah, ZSS, yeah, yeah. 